In the next trick, I will present how to use the count calculation within the calculated field. Let's try to draw the following scenario. We insert a new pivot table and place the order ID and also uh, some of uh, sales in here. And if I return to the order ID field and place it back again on the values shelf, you can find uh, an order which has multiple lines in the data source. Uh, what does this mean in practice? If you have a single order, like uh, the one with the ending 6 to 3, uh, you can find three rows uh, for this specific order. And right now I would like to uh, classify those orders by giving a highlighter for the uh, orders that contain more or less than three lines. Uh, and I'm trying to do it uh, by using the calculated field, but the problem is if you use anything as the calculated field, the only possible calculation here, although we cannot see it, is summing, to sum up uh, the values. But you cannot sum up values right now, so it's not going to be possible to do the calculation. If you'll try uh, to create a calculate field just with the order ID, hoping maybe it's going to uh, calculate the sum, uh, you will get only zero values. You cannot sum up this kind of uh, field. The easiest solution, of course, uh, for me would be to create a data model at measures by using the DAX language, but this is out of the scope of uh, this course because we are just trying to use the basic functionalities of a pivot table and those advanced topics can be found in a dedicated data model and DAX language course. But of course, uh, there is a solution also or a kind of workaround uh, inside of a standard pivot table. But once again, as in the previous exercise, we need to create a new column. Let's call it number of rows. And we will just use the one as the constant value for every of the rows. Right now, when we will sum up this value, we can uh, refer to the count of order ID we have in there, assuming that we will have the order ID on the rows shelf. So let's refresh the pivot table to uh, add the new column uh, to the pivot table cache. Then let's create a calculated field. Maybe we will first remove the uh, old one and right now we will create the new uh, calculated field. Uh, is this greater than or equal to three lines? This is going to be the question that this uh, measure is going to answer. And the formula is how many of rows is greater than or equal to three. After hitting OK, we get the information. If you have less than three rows, you get a zero. If it's fine, you get number one as the true answer to our question. And right now you could perform also some other uh, calculations, but keep in mind this kind of calculation is not going to work, of course, uh, on the grand total of your uh, pivot table.